to Jaja ja Henny Games. I am Jaja ja Henny. Thank you for coming back. I can't hear myself. Uh, <laughs> thank you for coming back. We're playing Coffee Talk today. I've played this game before, but I never finished it. And I really wanted to play it for the channel. That's why I stopped for a while. I didn't get too far into the game. Kind of just scoped out the beginning. Got a feel for a few of the characters before I stopped. And today, I want to bring this game to the channel to you all and hopefully you will enjoy it as usual if you're subscribed thank you for subscribing and if you're not subscribed if you're new here welcome we play video games and other things and uh if you hit that button and you hit the bell you'll get notifications every single time we post i post every friday we're switching just to fridays just for a little bit because i've got some things that i'm working on we have some things that probably should not talk about yet so I'm not gonna say anything uh so gonna switch to a one day a week schedule and hopefully you guys forgive me for that hopefully you guys keep on watching and we're gonna get started with this game all right Seattle 2020 a city filled with dreams and madness a time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. That's unfortunate. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. I love the graphics, the colors. I love it. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Cool. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks and take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping, a place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. Okay, Law and Order. Coffee Talk. It's a pretty cool name for a, for a coffee shop. It's Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. This game just has a chill vibe to it, you know? I kind of fuck with it. What? Oh, it's you. <laughs> hey, Jaja Henny, how's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half the ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry. Take your time. I will, girl. You ain't got to tell me what to do. What's your green hair? I'm a writer, not an editor. What? So I'm used to taking things slow. Heh. <laughs> Writer's block again. Got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Ah, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want 
your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Thanks, girl. Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay, I'm going to make it. Relax. Let me look at my phone, though, because even though I'm pretty sure I know what to do, I still want to make sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so coffee and coffee. I used to work at a coffee shop. It was pretty chill. All right. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. I always wanted to, well, maybe not always, but I always thought it would be cool to have a coffee shop that was open at night. Cause like, nighttime is when I thrive. Like late afternoon, evening. It'd be cool if you could go to a coffee shop at night and just like chill, you know? Maybe I'll open one up in the future. Who knows? Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. I'm glad I made it, right? Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. That I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job in case things go awry. Hee hee hee. Hee 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 hee. <laughs> it's not that funny. It's not that funny. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Say so! Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. I did the same thing. <laughs> and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was the last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh, he 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 he. I'm assume, I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. I've done that. So, zero? I don't know how to say that, but yes. 
I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. Hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Another customer's coming in. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? She got some cool horns. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in it, please. Do you guys think Freya is gay? Because I do. I just wanted to say that. Okay, so just chocolate? Okay, I don't have any other recipes yet because this is just what I start out with. Okay, that's fine. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Not even any milk? That's kind of crazy to me. Mm, I love hot chocolate. Maybe I'll make some tonight. Serve it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Her phone has horns too, I just realized. So warm. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. Dang, girl, it makes it sound like I don't get no, no customers. It makes it sound like I'm struggling. That's not right. I thought we was friends. You, 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 you gay person? I thought this place would be more crowded. Now you being shady too? Can't say y'all. Consider it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. You're shady. Shady. Now that you mention it, is that good for business? Is the coffee shop only open at night? Yes. Probably not. But you know what? Y'all need to mind y'all business. Definitely not. You're shady. That's how I know that we're friends. Shady. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running in a coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Jaja Henny here is damn rich. That's the secret. I wish. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Jaja Henny can manage. Yeah, I'm doing my best, okay? Single mom who works two jobs, who loves her kids and never stops. Hey. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. I hope not. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not, not so many options for that. Ah, uh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. If it's called the Evening Whispers, does the newspaper also only come out at night? I wonder, I don't, how does that work? Is this like a city where, no, it's not, it can't be. Well, I, I don't know. Let me just keep on going. Shut up. Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal interesting weird stories also contribute to their short stories i love their fiction you wrote those stories thank you 
I don't know most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Ooh, another customer. My boyfriend. Welcome. Hi. Hi, that's it. That's why you ugly. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with fine folks here. Hi there. You ain't gonna say nothing. You ain't gonna speak? Hello. He's rude. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. How about I surprise you and I throw some coffee in your face? Because you already got an attitude. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something better to keep me awake with milk and, uh, oh, draw some latte art on top. You know what? You don't tell me what to do. I do, I do what I want. Talk about draw some latte art. I don't even know how to do that. I don't appreciate it. First of all, you're getting coffee with some milk. Because that's what you asked for, okay? But first of all, that's normal. That's normal. When, if you want some latte art, you don't ask for it. It's a surprise. If I feel like doing it, then I will give you some latte art. But if I don't feel like it, guess what happens? You don't get no latte art. You don't get no latte art. And you know what? And you know what? I'm and, and cause, Because I don't even know how to do that. I don't even know how to do that. They got me over here. They got me over here. I don't even know what I'm doing. I I don't even know. I don't even. Man, hold up. I don't even know. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. Um. I'm gonna put some dots. And then and then put another dot. Why do you keep going down? Look crazy. Another dot. Then another dot. There. That's your latte art, sir. Don't ask me for nothing else. Don't ask me for nothing else. Here's your order. This is what you call latte art? This is exactly why I was ready to fight you in the first place. Because you always got something to say. Every time you come in here, you always got something to say with your pretty ears. And I'll appreciate it. Because, first of all, if you want latte art, you need to go to a place that's famous for their latte art. Now you know good damn well that when you come up in here, it's midnight, it's 1 in the morning, it's 2 or 3 a.m. And I'm tired, I'm tired, okay? I work overnight, it's raining, alright? It's a leak in the bathroom, and I can't even pay to get it fixed. And you want to come in here and ask me if you get some latte art? Drink your coffee, drink your coffee, and shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut your no lip mouth shut up. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. No matter what, the drink's gonna be fire. Period. It don't matter what the art look like. Because when it comes to making the drinks, when it comes to tasty beverages, okay, I'm the artiste in this building. Okay, boy. Okay, with your with your scarf that match your backpack for no reason. Got time for you. Anyway, I was attracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Bailey's. And then your name is Bailey's on top of that. Stupid. That's a stupid name. How come your name is just not Bailey? You're dumb. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah. I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Yeah, we know. Ugly. Oh, my. Where are my manners? Yeah, because I just realized we don't even know your name, girl. I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. It's nice to meet you, girl. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Jaja Henny. Duh, the one and only. Period. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I bet you are. I bet you are. With your pointy ears. I don't like him. I've done some characters and infographics for the paper. I assume you're in contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. 
But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand work with him directly. Ha ha ha. Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with the bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. Because you're so good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skill though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment, bitch. Welcome, bitch. Anyways, I really need to start writing whatever it is I'm gonna write. So, I'll leave you two in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you gonna write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. Heh. 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 I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. I'm stuck with these two. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here's good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It's fine. Work's nothing special. I finished my, propo my proposal early so that I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a real good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this was a pain in the ass. You know all those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Jaja Hidden here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah, how do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. You mean like you? I don't like you. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson learned for the day, yeah. Ooh, who texting you, your other boyfriend? Who is it? Your parents? Yes. So you talk to them? I did. Didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at parents' place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second of being part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me. No other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. 
You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. Like, you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend the rest of my life with you, I don't mind. making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. No, wait! <sighs> anyway, I'm sorry you had those store problems. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, well, you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? You already have a drink. Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. You already have one. I mean, I'm not going to complain about making money. I just don't understand why you don't just drink what you have in front of you. But go off. All right, green tea, milk, and milk. And don't ask me for no latte because I'm not doing it. You drink your matcha and you leave me alone. have someone you love I love this coffee shop but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for Heh. I didn't really have any expectations man out of all the people in the whole world why did I fall for her you can't choose who you fall in love with you can't if you try hard enough at least that's what my old man says it really is one pretentious elf and I guess all of them are Title pretentious amoral douchebags. Did you have an eternity to learn and change? Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole? Anyway, I need to go now. Probably drink myself under till the sun rises. There's still a while till sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. We visit again. you're back. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. Hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop after this. It's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the delivery is coming tomorrow, I'll open it. Okay. You have a good night then. You too. fun this game was so i think what i'll do is do an episode like one day an episode how about that i feel like that's a good idea um just so break the story up in nice little chunks you know what i mean so anyways that's gonna be it for today i really hope you guys like this game i like it it's fun acting out the characters personally I think it's fun <laughs> like I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm a very dramatic person so I just it's just fun for me to do that so I hope you guys um, had a good time and I'll see you next week
with another episode. What game am I going to be playing? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Santa! What do you think?